is a bit for fun. This is General Spear here. Welcome back to another episode here of Star Wars Conquest Season 2. How are y'all doing today? I hope you're all having a good afternoon, good morning, and good evening. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, here just outside of Ryloth territory. And I'm just going to set my uh, my timer real quick. There we go. Um, So, we are just plugging away from last episode, kind of just to try to conquer territory and whatnot. And if I go to the polls section here on my phone real quick you guys blew it out of the water j yet again pretty much an extreme confirmation of who we're gonna go after uh let me just go to my uh channel my uh then my uh community page right there there we go so it's still a pretty close uh poll 69 to 31 i mean well close well it's not exactly that close but essentially the vote goes as far as who we're going to attack next we're going to go after the galactic empire uh that was just i i asked that of you guys last episode to go ahead and go vote on that stuff and uh we're going to go after the galactic empire which is going to be rather nuts i think uh because they have a significant amount more land than we do um well than the rebels do actually but and i think also than us as well yeah i think they're pretty massive so in that case what we're going to do and this is going to be a little bit of a i guess of a trial and error situation i think among one of the first planets i want to get is camino because you know free clones because why not um and I want to secure our back lines here with getting Kessel and Geonosis under our belts as well. Um, that's going to be really, really interesting to uh, to handle. So I'm I'm really I'm really uh, interested of in getting that out of the way. Then I think we'll head up to um, Keshik Outpost, take that out, and get Christophsis. And kind of just begin doing a wave. We might lose the Hoth stuff up here in the process. Um, but yeah, that's that's just going to be how it's going to go. In fact, I want to go to my stationing. I want to go to my faction management, manage territories. Um, do all the planets belong to me? Dagobah belongs to Commander uh, Rarek. Just going through here to see. So look, my got belongs to Commander Panak. That's fine. So that's that's pretty much all we have then, uh, as far as um, planet controls. I control all the planets. Uh, in fact, uh, Ryloth, how much of a garrison do you have? You have eighty-five, which is actually not bad. And we can zip around pretty quick to be able to get to um, various planets for defense. But I think the first the first phase is going to be um, taking on these back planets here. Camino, Geonosis, Kessel, and all of its outposts out here. Even Felucia as well. Um, and then kind of just begin the slow push up towards the core worlds. From the, I mean, once we have these plants back here, I think then it's going to be Christophsis and Felucia. And then possibly go after Mandalore and Terrace. Actually, not possibly, but probably will be. But I'm just planning out early strategy at the moment. We're not going to go to war just yet. I still have some, uh, some planning I want to do. Um, the Hoth space out here might just be on its own for right now to kind of just, you know... Be in fact, do we have any troops out there? I actually want to head over here and see if there's any troops um, that uh, are stationed at either of those outposts. To even, even if it's just to hold them off at the moment. I did not see how many troops they had there. I actually want to go to the Dagobah Moon. Ah, Ryloth Outpost has begun or uh, has completed a prison tower. 
which is good. Manage this planet. Uh, educational facility. That's right. We're we're still on the process of um, getting everything all situated as far as our moons go, such that we can have um, pretty good production and pretty good uh, stuff overall with uh, our planetary systems. You can go raid those Tuscan Raiders if you wanted to. Manage the planet. Uh, that's right, four cents of temple on, on nine days on the Ryloth Moon. There are no other improvements, so Ryloth Moon definitely needs, uh, needs some stuff. We can recruit one clone. Let's do it. Alright, how are we doing on stuff here? Okay, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Alright. Morale is still high. We have, uh, 5,599. Weekly cost, 3,545. Not bad. Alright, inventory. Can we sell some stuff? We actually can. Not a lot, but we can. Uh, let's go to Ryloth. Just do that. There goes the fleet. Alright, manage this planet. Uh, prison tower in five days. Perfect. Uh, go to the market and just go to weapons. Sell off that stuff. 26 credits. Sure. Why not? Alright. So, 26 credits. Good, good, good. So I just want to go up here to the Hoth space over here because it's kind of it was one of those it was one of those areas where it was really out in the middle of nowhere and um, it was kind of concerning. Rorex ship has 143. I have full confidence in his ability to defend stuff, especially Dagobah. In fact, Dagobah, how many how many troops do you have? 106 for a garrison. Wow. Dagobah is set for a while. Let's go after these Tuscan Raiders. Get our morale up. Get some kills. Alright. We have 112 troops. They have 22. Let's fight on the ship. This position spread out. Loud. All right, clones and companions, get them. New enemies have arrived. One. Okay. Jump on over here. Hi. You're dead. Bring out your dad. All right. Very nicely done. I love seeing all these clones. This is awesome. Alright. Gained one renowned. Cool. These are famous. Alright. We'll upgrade you to a captain. Perfect. Very nicely done. Access the pool. Um. Grab this stuff. Alright. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. There. Good rearranging of stuff. Okay. Shared experience within the party? Does that mean there's people to be upgraded? No. Definitely not. So I want to talk to you for a second. Talk to you all for a second that, um, about something. Battlefront, well, for me, has come out now because I pre-ordered it. Uh, oh, Camino! Industrial factory has been completed. We might need to head on over there. Though I don't know if we can afford anything necessarily at the moment. Um, so, Battlefront 2 has come out. For um, those that pre-ordered the deluxe version, I think. Um, and a lot of people have been complaining about how um, it's not the game that people thought it would be. And in fact, one of the things that people are upset about is all the microtransactions within the game. Which, I understand. Seven Days to Industrial Factory, fine. I understand it to a point that... You know, people will be upset about it. I get it, you know, and of course, it's make it's 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 such that, um, it's the the game is such that you got a a lot unlock a lot of stuff, you got to put in a lot of hours or a lot of money to be able to unlock stuff. And to be honest, as far as EA's business plan goes, that's a pretty solid business plan because they know a it's Star Wars, people are going to buy it. B 
is people either are going to are going to put in the time to unlock everything, or they're going to pay money to do the microtransaction stuff to be able to unlock stuff. It's, you know, it, for EA, it's a win. Okay? Let's see. Hoth Outpost is 61, plus uh, uh, Commander Ale's ship, which is 158. They're fine out here. Let's go to the battle station. So... And I did, I did a review that people, you know, a lot of, a lot of people might have saw. Hoth Battle Station, 102. Commander Talos, 150. They're fine out here. Let's go to the sun. Um, so, w one of the things that I... We'll go after those guys in a moment. There's the planet. Forces of Temple. Nine days. Perfect. Um, one of the things that I remarked on was the fact that there was stuff that you needed to unlock. Let's fight on the ship. Alright. All these deserters. They are belong to us. Okay. Get a bit of mindset for a moment. Oh god! Troops are doing well. Troops are doing really well. Look at all that green. Did it again? <laughs> bye bye, Jawa. <laughs> there you go, Stormtrooper dead. Good job. Time for retreat or jump. All right. And the clones get him. Well, I mean, they are. Ah! Gonna get hit! Only two troops left. Now just one. Nice. Nicely done, troops. Alright, no casualties. That I... Love and get with with live with. Uh, fight on the ship, and that'll get back to the the battlefront two talk. All right, all right. Ow! That hurt a lot. Okay, that worked. No casualties. Good. I don't want any. Capture those prisoners, though. I can sell those guys off. Uh, holy crap! All the stuff. Look at this. Hold on. Is there any? Is there any food that they have? No, there is not. That's fine. Okay, so back to, back to the battlefront talk. Um, I posted on uh, my own Facebook page, like my personal one, to all my friends, you know, kind of thing. And I've spent I've spent a no good number of hours and time in Battlefront and all that, or Battlefront Two. And I I, I gotta say, I gotta say this because I have to. Um, the game itself will never be the same as the original that came out in 2004. It's not going to be the same follow-up to the, um... the, um... Uh, the sequel that came out in 2005. It's not going to be the same. Um, however, we're going to go back down towards uh, the Camino Moon for a moment. However, I will say this. It's not the best Star Wars game out there. Ooh, all the stuff. Rory, Narshada, Alzac 3, all the stuff has been completed. We can build stuff. Nice, and we got some stuff in, in the bank. 
Oh, that's awesome. We're gonna have to go, uh, go get stuff. Go get monies. In fact, we probably can. Find our shipyards. Let's go there for real quick. So, it's not the best Star Wars game. There's plenty of games out there that have been done in the Star Wars name that are significantly better than, um, than the Battlefront 2 that EA, um, that EA, uh, you know, had done. We were to draw about that much. That's fine. Um, so yeah, th there are games that are significantly better than EA's Battlefront 2. However, I will say this. As far as a game that continually challenges you, a game that actually has a, you know, a, already a better enticing multiplayer system, like, the, even, even the space battles, that was something that a lot of people complained about in the, um, the original EA Battlefront. Uh, I'm gonna manage the planet. I'm gonna go ahead and get, um, let's do a radar station. For education, eh, Radar station. Gonna need it. Um. For, for, so, even the original EA Battlefront had its, it, it had a lot of problems. Uh, the multiplayer was not very well balanced. It also wasn't really that enticing. Um. Let me just plan it. Yep, there's the stuff there. Okay, good. Um, wasn't really enticing. And it also... Like, I put in a lot of time onto battle the the EA, EA's original ber version of Battlefront. And it got old. It got old really, really fast, um, I gotta say. Uh, communication center? Sure. Yeah, that's actually probably a good idea. Um, it got old really fast, and I... I personally wasn't impressed with the fact that people can pretty easily, or uh, like the, the, okay, the star cards, for example. Uh, that's not good there. Um, the star cards system in EA's Battlefront, they the concept had potential, but the entire system itself didn't do that well, and so I like how they've kind of redone the system. Uh, let's go ahead and get a radar station out here for uh, Nar Shaddaa. Go on. Do it. Um, so they've completely reworked the system uh, you know, in that aspect. I'm really, really happy that they did. Um, so, and, and then I don't, and, but the, the thing is is that the people complain about like, you know, oh, people have spent this much money and they don't have all the heroes unlocked. Well, here's the thing. Originally, the heroes that were, you know, to be unlocked, like, you know, take Darth Vader, for example, uh, who, you know, is one of the ones that you have to unlock. Um, Darth Vader, for example, used to be, quote, used to be, 60,000 credits to unlock him. That was on a lot of in-game stuff. That people had to to go through, and you know, a lot of credits just for one one unlockable one character. EA has since reduced that cost substantially down to 50, 15 thousand credits, which is still a lot, but it's it is significantly better than the original sixty thousand. The other thing too that no that uh, EA has come out and said that they are planning on doing. There are several things that they're doing, which tells me that they are far more invested in this game than the original, which is actually really, really good. Uh, so this is one of the things that they are they are going to plan on doing, is that they are going to be uh, reworking how the earning of credits, uh, how that system goes. Um, one of the things that is very, very puzzling with the new system of how battle scores are determined and everything, and how credits are awarded beyond on that. Like, you could be MVP of the entire match. I just want to check this real quick. No, I can't upgrade it. Never mind. You can be MVP of the entire match. 
and earn like say 300 credits. However, you can even th on the the flip side of that, you can throw a match. We're gonna do a communications facility here. You can throw a match and earn practically the same amount, if not a little bit more, because apparently it's based on time, not uh, your battle score. Apparently, EA has is going to be reworking the system where the uh, the battle score will also uh, factor into how much credits you actually earn. So they're going to tweak that such that you earn based on not only the time that you spend in a match, but also your battle score as well. When that will be, I don't know, but that is what they've said as far as one of the big improvements that they plan to make to the current game at this time. Um, and that, then that, that tells me that the, so they've already reduced the, the price of which unlockables are unlocked at. They've already reduced the price that much. And the fact that they've also said and come out with the fact that they are also going to be reworking that system of how you earn credits and everything. Um, I was like three was the other one. Given that they're already reworking, reworking that system. It tells me that they are already more invested in the mechanics of this game versus their original game. So, my hope has been restored with EA. Well, not completely. It's been restored to a point on this game to, that makes me say, Okay, I can go on playing this game and not feel like it's been abandoned kind of thing. Because I felt like it was abandoned, the, the, the first one was abandoned, and I felt like, I feel like P, that EA kind of just did a test run, we're going to do a, a radar station on Alzac 3. I felt like they did a test run, so to speak, of the first Battlefront and seeing, what can we do with this kind of deal? Uh, you know, and kind of just, you know, testing the waters and seeing if people will actually play it. And people did play it. People definitely did play it. Got some people to upgrade. Another captain there. Very nice, very nice. So yeah, people did play it. And I think EA's Battlefront 2 definitely, um, definitely, uh, you know, fills in some gaps and some stuff to where... Uh, uh, let me actually take some of this back because we are not going to earn that many... That's fine. That's fine. Just pay whatever. Because it's only like three credits off. That's fine, too. Alright, goods. Sell off that stuff. And then I also need to get some more goods there. Um... Let's get... What do we want? Shipment of carbohydrates. Possibly? Eh, I don't know. Roll spice. Jury juice! Yes, let's get that. Um, and I think some Nerf sausages. Yes. Mujo fruit and... Another carbohydrate pack. How about that? Alright, perfect. Alright, so, um, did we go over to Rory yet? I think we did, but I can't remember. Um, so yeah, I already have a lot of high hopes just from the, the response that EA has taken with this Battlefront. I, it's still early to tell, and it'll be very interesting once we, uh, get more into it. I already love all the game modes. Really, really fantastic. Can't wait about that. Um... So yeah, love all that stuff. Okay, so, what do we want to do? Enough enough Battlefront talk. Let's get back into this game here. <laughs> I mean, we've already been in it, but I've kind of just been going around and talking to you at the same time. Um, so, what else is there to manage at the moment? I think I want to talk, f talk further strategy. I do know that I want to get Camino under my belt. And let's go over there and kind of just scout and see uh, see how many troops that they have over there. We might need to level up our um, our companion's abilities. We might even need to get another companion. 
was just entirely possible. Oh, Raiders. So Kamino has 310 troops. That is a lot. But we have pretty seasoned, well, not very seasoned, but you know, seasoned for the most part. We have a lot of um, troops of our own. 112 of them. I am expecting losses. That's that's you know definitely going to be the case. But let's let's look at this. They have you know 90 Imperial stormtroopers, which you know great. Um, 50 re or five recruits, eh, pushovers. Uh, <laughs> 28 army troopers, which those you know those are semi pushovers. Veteran Imperial Stormtroopers, they have 50 of them, but I'm, I'm slightly worried about those. Navy Troopers, they have 9. Um, the next bits are the Imperial Stormtrooper Officers, 31 of those. I am a little worried about those. Uh, Scout Troopers, 30 of those guys. Imperial Gunner, 9. 12 Pilots. Uh, 9 Veteran Scout Troopers. 2 Incinerator Troopers. Those can be fun to deal with. Um, Imperial Scouts, uh, Scout Marksmen, four of those guys, uh, Ace Pilots, two of those guys, Imperial Gunner, two of them, one Nova Trooper, even just one of those is, you know, oh, so much fun to deal with. Great if you had them, but they're not that much fun. Uh, Imperial Royal Guard, one of those, uh, some Transition Slavers, some Rebel Pilots, which I find interesting, as well as Rebel Cadets. Uh, and two 3PO series of droids. Those are complete pushovers. Um, so it's definitely going to be a siege. That is for sure. It might be a little bit of a, a battle of attrition, but it's not un undoable. We have been in worse situations. <laughs> Let's fight these uh, Tusken Raiders. Just fight on the ship. If anything, it gets a little bit more experience for our troops here. Get him, B2HO! I helped you out. Uh oh. Nice job, Tam Nero. I think we wiped him out. <laughs> okay, let's leave. Uh, let's go ahead and capture those two uh, Tuscan Raiders. Now. We used up that stuff. Nice. Grab all those guys. Let's just go to Camino. Oh, we've actually gotten some uh, some upgrades here. Let me, let me upgrade. Ooh. All right, so we've got another uh, another captain of the Ark Troopers. We're doing pretty good. Let's see. This is this is sixteen and twenty. I feel like I need more Ark Troopers. Like I know they're a badass and all, but I feel like I need more of them. And then we got some Jedi here, which is awesome. We just we have this Pow one here. We got a Jedi Guardian. I have a few uh, warrior masters, a few counselors, and then we have three grandmasters, which is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. All of our companions there. Excellent. Oh, somebody was mentioning in the comments uh, about prison management. Um, it is not a broken skill. It is not a broken skill at all. It just there is something to do with the requirements of uh, prison management for the characters, in which it's a, it's a, it's a little weird. It's just a little weird. Wait, can we not build a? Can we not build a prison tower here at Gamora? That's a little weird. More moon. Can we build anything here? Manage the planet. Communication center done in a day. That's fine. 
So, I'm probably going to AFK for a little bit and kind of just let things build up. Um, but next episode, I'm thinking we're going to go to war against the Galactic Empire. We're not going to do it this episode. But I think next episode, possibly, we will... Uh, You'll consider doing that. But that is going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. I hope you all learned a little bit more of what Battlefront 2 is going to be about. I, in particular, am excited for it. And excited for the potential of what it could be. But uh, that's that's my opinion. And that's what I'm going to stick to. But thank you all for watching, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. Please, as always, hook smash that like button. Comment in the comment section below if you're new. Do not forget to subscribe. And as always, may the force be ever.